All right, this morning we are watching out for you. We've received many calls and messages into our newsroom about voting in upcoming elections and people asking about the differences between mail-in ballots and absentee voting. News 4's Caroline Hecker joins us live to help answer a whole lot of those questions that you may have ahead of elections in August and November. Good morning, Caroline. Well, good morning. Right now we're about four months away from the general election in November. And like you mentioned, there will also be some elections taking place in August. And there's a lot of confusion at this point as to what exactly this is all going to look like. But what we can tell you is that all Missouri registered voters will be able to vote by mail in both of those elections thanks to a law that, or a bill that was recently signed into law by Governor Mike Parson. However, the vast, vast majority of registered voters who vote by mail will have to have that ballot notarized. Now, the idea behind the legislation is to give people more options amid this coronavirus pandemic with the possibility for a potential surge either later this summer or fall, allowing them to be able to vote from home instead of going out to their polling place. Now, there is a part of the law that talks about voters that may fall into an at-risk category. Those are people that are 65 or older, they're immunocompromised, or they have chronic respiratory illnesses. Now, if you fall into that at-risk category, you are allowed to vote absentee without a notary. Now, Governor Mike Parson says, in general, requiring notarization for most mail-in ballots will help prevent voter fraud as he works to expand mail-in voting for both August and November's elections. Now, over in Illinois, it looks a little bit different. Again, there, all registered voters in Illinois are able to vote by mail. Uh, there are no excuses or reasons that you must give in order to do so, but the Illinois Elections Commission does ask that you request that ballot by October 29th if you do wish to vote by mail in the November election. We're live in St. Louis this morning. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Okay, Caroline, thank you very much.